Hey guys, this is Martin and welcome back to our little mini series around tips and tricks in Burp Suite. And today I'm going to show you something called targeted scanning in Burp. So there's even a lab on the Portswigger Academy. So let's access this. Um, what it basically means, and I think this feature is unknown to a lot of people, is you are probably familiar with the fact that you can do a scan, right? A vulnerability scan on Burp if you have Burp Pro and this is great but dependent on on the size of the application this may take significant time right and you don't have significant time usually in a pen test engagement or when you bug hunting or whatever right so um, one nice feature Burp pro offers you is the so-called targeted scanning right and i'm going to show you this how, how this basically works so we have a website here and I could now go ahead and scan the whole website, which would probably take hours, right? And, but if you stumble across a feature in, in your investigation, right? And you say like, hey, I wanna see just like what's happening here. So if you see down here, you have like this check stock feature, right? So let's say Milan, we wanna check the stock in the Milan store, right? And there's like a certain amount of units available. So let's come over to Burp. And then in Burp, we basically wanna see um, what, let's, let me just sort this, uh, what, what this request is, right? So this, and this is the specific re request we just launched. So the product ID equals one and store ID equals three. So store ID three is Milan, obviously. So let me send this to repeater first. So this is something we are interested in because um, we are checking, we are interacting with a backend service here, right? And so I may not want to run a full scan over the full website, but I may just want to test this specific post call to product stock, right? <clears throat> so what I can do here is I can actually say here, right click, and then I say do active scan. And then it's basically just doing an active scan on this specific request, okay? Which is a lot less time consuming than than um scanning like the whole the whole application right um you probably have seen this before um that it takes a long time to, to scan a full application so i can go now back here to my dashboard and so it's estimating now 29 minutes right this is this is still long and you see the requests are counting up um but it may find something as it goes along right so it's doing all these these tests now and specifically around that feature like while this is running we can we still have seven minutes seven and a half minutes left in our in our lab here so i could for example say paris and do a uh, check stock here and you see you get another um, amount of of uh, stock items in stock here and just here the like the store id is two and here the store id was three right so this is this confirmed what i said earlier that this the the stock ID from, from the drop down menu is actually here. Um, well, the store ID is reflected here. So Milan, London, and Paris in, in our scenario, right? And so I could now go in and manually test things here, right? Like I could now go to repeater and in repeater, I might be able, let me just send another copy to repeater. I might be able to say like, hey, what happens if I put like, random input in there, right? And how does the application behave? And well, it didn't really uh, make a difference, right? So let's just remove everything. And there's no product or such store. Okay, interesting, what if I put an X in here, then I get totally random value. So this could already be um, a vulnerability on its own, right? But, but more importantly, our scan target has now become red, right? And it says like there is some out of band um issue and it basically tells me here so out of band resource load http it's a high severity and it's confident they're like it's certain that this is this is actually the case so it's not a false positive so what you can see here it uses something called the x include right which is which is which is a subset of external entity injection and so basically it even presents you like here the, the requests which were sent it shows you the, the requests it put in and it also shows you like the responses it got it got back here, right? So invalid product ID, but this was basically your input was reflected. See that like this is 
basically the verb collaborator domain, so you've got an interaction with the verb collaborator uh, in, in our scenario. So um, now that we know that X include or XI is the problem or is potentially an, an issue here and we were able to trigger an out of band reaction, we can go on Google, for example, and start browsing around, which I have already done in advance to cut time. But there it basically says like there's hidden access XXE surfaces and X include is one of them. And you see that the payload here is very, very similar to what we have, what we have just seen. And what we are going to do, this is a standard payload, right? And I'm replacing basically, let me copy this out, the whole thing, and then we go through this. So let's go over to repeater and put that in, right? And so basically, um, instead of calling the verb collaborated uh, domain, we are going to extract the file or we're trying to extract the etc pass WD, right? Like this is then if you have done the XXE labs before, you see that this is obviously a goal, like um, to read an internal file. And we basically just put this in, right? And um, because it should work, right? Like if, if uh, the burp scanner has proven already that this is possible, that I can facilitate an out of band reaction as, you have, as we have just seen. So l let's just use the href and read out the etc password contents or try to do that. And if we do this, you see this successfully worked. So I was able with this vulnerability, with this X include vulnerability to successfully read out. Now, you would have found this with a regular burp scan, no doubt, right? Burp would probably have picked this up, but it would have taken a lot longer time. So what is key? What is the key lesson for this specific lab is use targeted scanning. Whenever you see an, an interesting function or something like this, then use the targeted scanning and because it, it cuts your time significantly, right? Uh, instead of doing a full scan. And remember how to do this, you go to your request and then you do a right click in that specific request and you say like do an active scan. And then it's really just only scanning the specific request. Okay, I hope this makes sense and I see you in the next video.